So we ask ourselves, how in the hell can you turn around the state if our cities are not strong? Fourteen of our top urban uh, metropolitan areas is, is home in this state to 82% of the population, 84% of the jobs, 85% of the um, post-secondary degree holders, 86% of the state gross domestic product. And so we can't ignore our cities. And at the center of all these metropolitan areas are our core cities. And so that's why it's important for us to really consider our language in, in terms of how we talk in the, at the legislative level and in our communities about why we need to reinvest in our cities. The reinvestment in our urban centers was the topic of conversation at the second Pancakes and Politics of the 2012 season. The panel, who represented cities across the state, addressed a packed crowd at the Detroit Athletic Club. On the west side of the state, we're cheering for Detroit. We understand that our, as Dr. King would say, our, our lives are inextricably linked. We heard some great examples of things going on in West Michigan that can be real models for us, but uh, we've got to do business differently. I'm curious the issues of consolidation if, uh, and collaboration were hot issue. on the minds of panelists and the audience. Why are cities succeeding in other places? The structure is different. They're using their county government. They've empowered their central cities. You know, you have metropolitan cities. You have cities that have, that have been allowed to eat up uh, area uh, land and, and consolidate uh, and annex. Uh, that hasn't been done in Michigan for years. Uh, there's no need, for example, for Highland Park to have its own fire station, for example, when it's surrounded by three Detroit fire stations. It just makes no sense at all. And so if we have to fight through a, a, a different level of conversation and, <laughs> to really get to the collaborative point, I think at the end of the day we save money. I think the problem was everyone wants a name and everyone wants some fame and that may be some challenges. As the economic crisis becomes more of a reality, it becomes more of it's got to happen. I mean, clearly we're not in war per se, but clearly we certainly need to battle and we need to take off the chains, if you will, disenthrall ourselves from the things that we've always done in the ways we've always done them. The cities of Southwest and Southeast Michigan have much in common, but it is their differences that may be key to how they prosper. Detroit has a history that Kalamazoo doesn't have, quite frankly. And that history, you know, the unspoken elephant in this room and on that mm -hmm. question is race. Yeah. I, it really is a divider, more so than any other place I've been in this state. Sort of Questions from the audience uh, sparked the dialogue like about younger, right. emerging leaders. It's quite disingenuous to be at all these leadership tables and have mm -hmm. boards mm -hmm. and trustees and planning groups and no one's under 40. That's problematic, Yeah, it right? Is. And so if you want me to pay for this in 20 years, I think it'd be ingenuous of you to invite me in to planning on what I'm paying for. The next session of the seventh season of Pancakes and Politics series will feature the Big Four. It is May 18th at the Townsend End in Birmingham. Tickets are available now.